today guys I want to take a look at this lug nut and wheel stud thread checker and it is by S&W Manufacturing Company. I paid $22.03 from Amazon. The manufacturer's part number is SWTC-LN8. The material that these checkers are made out of is aluminum and they are all held together with a metal uh, wire going through these uh, bodies of each one of these so that they are contained together. As can be seen here, each size has a lug nut and a wheel stud checker on the same gauge. So you'll note here you have the male portion on the opposite side is the female of that particular size. The thread sizes are permanently stamped onto each gauge and they are very clear and easy to see. One of the things that I'm going to do here is cut the cable that is holding these together because if I want to check these on a stud, on a car, I want to be able to fully rotate these and I believe I'll be hindered with this cable. So my preference is just to uh, cut that cable off. Now the cable allows these to stay as one unit and that's really nice. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. So now with these untethered, I'm able to take whatever one I want off, put it on the stud of the car, and rotate this without the hindrance of that cable. Now since they're not tethered together, I still want to keep them in one place so, so they don't get lost in the toolbox or wherever. I'm going to use a small container by Sistema. I love these little things. I use them for a lot of, a lot of different things. Uh, they have different sizes. But for this, we're going to use the 6.76 ounce or 200 milliliter rectangular. And that's going to allow you to keep every one of those nice and neat inside this container. As you can see, they're all there. This is nice and thin. It will fit in a thin drawer of your toolbox. So let's take the tire off of my uh, Honda CRV. Now what I did is I looked at the threads on the stud there and I just looked at the different uh, stud checkers that I had and you can get an idea and I see that this one here which is an M12 by 1.5 pitch is the one that works. So now we check it like that. We see, in fact, that it does go on. And if we take the, the lug nut, we see that it goes on there. So if you had one or the other, you could tell. 
Now when checking a stud, it's easy. The one I've got here is an M12 by 1.75 pitch. So you can easily go on here like this and look and see that it doesn't work. It doesn't mate up. But if you had the lug nut and you couldn't really tell because it's so close, you want to be careful that you do not, you want to start very carefully and don't force anything because I can tell immediately that although that does catch a hair, it's not correct. So you never want to force anything. If it doesn't go smooth, there's two problems. They're either got threads that are bunged up, say on here, or threads that are bunged up on the lug nut, or you got the wrong thread checker. So just something to make sure don't ever force any kind of a thread checker. The one thing I want to look at is how this holds up the lacquer thinner because I use anti-seize on my threads and what I'm going to do is take some lacquer thinner spray it on here. Now these are anodized and here's where you'd get the most when I was checking that uh, stud on there. So I'm going to put that in there. First it would have been on the lug nut too. And I just want to see how this holds up to cleaning with lacquer thinner. When it's perfect, the finish has not been degraded at all. So this way, before I put it back in the container, I can make sure that I don't have any contamination. Because, you know, once you get that anti-seize on stuff, your fingers and everything, and it just makes a mess on anything else you touch and where it goes. So, yeah. This held up, the surface finish held up very well. I've got two trailers. I've got a uh, large trailer and then the small trailer. Let's take the, uh, let's take the wheel off of this. We're going to check it with this thread checker and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the car. I got one that looked like it was close and then when I put it on here I can see that this particular one mates up perfectly. And this is a one half by 20. So now we'll verify it. Another thing, make sure that the threads are clean when you do this so that it doesn't hang up. Wipe them off if you need to. And you'll see that this goes on perfectly. Now we're going to use the lug nut. And verify that that is also the correct size. One half inch diameter by 20 threads per inch.